going to make a sweet little star Christmas ornament. So I'm going to use some earthenware clay here, patty cake it out a little bit, and roll it with the rolling pin. Roll it and flip it so that it doesn't stick. If you roll it back and forth and leave your clay in the same spot of the canvas for too long, it's going to saturate the canvas and the clay will stick there and it won't grow very well. It won't keep stretching as you're rolling it. So I've got it about as thick as my pinky. Um, it could go thinner, but it won't warp as easily if you keep it a little thicker. So I'm, I just cut out a simple star out of um, some, probably a brown paper bag by the looks of it, and I'm going to trace it. Uh, if you have a cookie cutter that's a star shape and you want to use that, I don't recommend pressing the cookie cutter into the clay. I recommend putting the cookie cutter on the clay and tracing it. A lot of times when people use cookie cutters in the clay and press down, it the clay just gets stuck in the cookie cutter and you end up battling that and fighting with it. So. Um, that's just my little tip for that, okay? I have my cut, my star cut out. I'm gonna pat down all the edges so they're not sharp. There we go. And then we'll make a little square for the manger where Jesus is lying. I'm just cutting out a simple um, box shape and they always tend to be narrower at the bottom so that's what I did just a simple uh, four-sided shape and then I'm going to use my garlic press to squirt out some straw hmm somebody didn't clean out this garlic press hmm Ooh, let's see if it yeah it's still gonna work good Okay, that was me that didn't clean it out. I was the one that used it last. So I'm going to piece all this together. So in, I, I just wanted to lay it there to see how it looks. Well, that looks good. So now I'm going to scratch and wet it all together. I'll use my wire brush and dip it in the slip. Scratch and wet. Scratch and wet. And put that together. It's kind of hard to scratch and wet um, the clay when it comes out of the garlic press. So I just make sure that I scratch and wet the surface better. You know, where I'm going to apply it. There. Looks like it was already feeding time. It's full. The manger is full of hay. Okay. So now I'm just going to make a very Symbol, a uh, simple symbol of Jesus. I'm going to take some clay, roll it into a round ball, and then roll it back and forth into an oval. And now I'm going to use a simple circle. This is just a piece of piping that I got from the hardware store, and I'm going to imprint a little circle representing his face. And what it does is it makes it look like he's wrapped up in a blanket already. So all I need to do then is draw a little line where the blanket maybe kind of folded and overlapped itself. And I can leave it um, or I can use a tiny stick to put in the imprint of eyes. That doesn't really show up though. I'm gonna do that again. There we go. Just so simple, so simple and subtle. And then I'm gonna scratch and wet him in place. There we go. So this ornament can hang. I'll use one of these sticks to put a hole all the way through. There we go. So simple. Thanks for watching.